Man on Mars could be coming to a solar system near you. That's right, 2030s. Those are the years we are talking about. According to NASA, Mars says it's happening and it's happening soon. NASA says preparations for a manned mission to the Red Planet are proceeding as planned with humans expected to set foot on Mars in the 2030s. Now, right now we've got some people in the International Space Station who have a goal of spending an entire year in space. They call it the hashtag year in space campaign. And it's a really big deal. Um, spending very extended periods of time in space is something that is relatively unstudied. Um, people have done it for hundreds of days, stuff like that. Um, but really seeing what does this do to your body, um, it's a big deal and it's, it's a step in the right direction. So um, they have a lot of work going to Mars that includes the development of the rockets, completing that, and the spacecraft that's going to get them back again. Now what's interesting about this is the fact that this isn't going to be a suicide mission. Now for many years, most of us assumed that, okay, we could probably get someone to Mars. Maybe they could try to have a colony. Um, but the idea is like, probably you're going to die on Mars. Like, uh, it's like, uh, being one of the first settlers to travel West. Um, people don't really expect that you're going to come back. Um, but they are planning to one, go to Mars, and two, come back. The reason that they're able to do this is a really exciting advancement. It's called the Mars Oxygen ISRU experiment. Um, it's going out in the next Mars rover, which is going to be in 2020. And what's cool about this is it takes carbon dioxide out of the thin Martian atmosphere and produces oxygen. Now, oxygen is obviously used for humans to be able to breathe, but the other interesting thing is that it can use the, uh, the oxygen to get the spacecraft back out of Mars and back to Earth. So, pretty interesting stuff. Um, there's going to be a lot of money that's needed to fund this. Uh, NASA has been notoriously underfunded over the years, but sometimes when there's a big goal, um, especially if there's competition involved, nationalism, um, NASA tends to get uh, a little boost in their funding. So we'll keep you posted on this on the Fowler Show. Looks like Ma NASA may be beating the uh, Mars One rover, which was that uh, reality show slash trip to Mars, which seems to be doing terribly. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, folks.